So next to one, we are going to learn about dysphagia in esophagus due to mechanical reasons. Again, logically thinking, there can be many reasons. We are talking about exactly what are the mechanical reasons that can cause it. Of course, from the word mechanical, right? There is an obstruction or foreign body or cancer. So first one, we are going to talk about Ah, there is something called SCADSI ring. It's a ring formed in lower esophagus. A ring formed in lower esophagus. As a result, the person can't eat big piece of meat, big meat pieces. That ring, specifically, like we call it as steakers. Uh, steakhouse dysphagia it means like it's not every time a patient go for a party he's eating a shashlik or something a big piece of meat then only he will feel like a pain or irritation or something sometime after some time he will have halitosis bad smelling he can come back this meat piece can come into the pillow like while he is sleeping at the night so that is this uh, because of what this scadsy ring now so this patient, what we do, we diagnose, yeah, we will do like barium swallow here and endo and bio. So we can see that exactly this ring formed, right? And you will do as a treatment, you lyse the ring. So that's all about scadzy ring, remember about steakhouse or people, it is not every time rarely rare occasions when you're going for a party or something and eating something next one very important esophageal webbing esophageal webbing it was in the lower esophagus to mainly affect the upper esophagus very important super high yield here we have to think about a syndrome called plumber vincent syndrome Actually, it's a combination of iron deficiency anemia plus esophageal webbing and so plumber vincent syndrome is a combination of a triad of iron deficiency anemia, esophageal webbing and yes, uh, right. And dysphagia, right? The patient will be having uh, dif uh, dysphagia, the symptom. We are talking about what? The mechanical dysphagia here, right? So these are the three symptoms you will see in plumber vincent syndrome. It's a triad or iron deficiency anemia or whatever. So it mainly affect the upper esophagus. If someone have iron deficiency anemia, sure, we'll be giving the treatment as what? Iron tablets or ferrous sulfates, percoven or ferrous sulfate tablets we'll be giving. Right? If esophageal pumping, if you don't treat it, it can even become esophageal cancer, esophageal cancer, risk of having. So treat accordingly, this, if this web, webbing is uh, like a big or it's not un untreated or the patient symptoms are becoming worse, it can become cancer. So treatment, symptomatic like for anemia, treat iron deficiency anemia and iron supplement and if needed, here also we do what? surgery and in this case also what is the diagnostic criteria everywhere we do barium swallow then uh, x-ray then endo and biopsy here also all the mechanical type of what esophageal dysphagia next one very important zengers diverticulum zengers diverticulum actually it happens because of Cricopharyngeal, cricopharyngeal muscle dysfunction. So there will be a diverticulum formed. This is our esophagus. Like there will be diverticulum. So if a patient eats the food, some part of the food will be accumulated here. So it will become bad smelling at the night. Halitosis. We call it as bad smell normally halitosis it mainly occurs because muscle will be weak in which people old people 
it occurs in old people right for diagnosing same we do we do a barium salo and you can do an endo and biopsy if needed and treatment right ah. remove this diverticulum by doing a surgery so these are the most commonly asked in the exam now next one that is a very important one from mechanical that is our cancer in esophagus right actually cancer always have a differential here sometime it can be due to stricture not a cancer we will be confused it can be an esophageal stricture or it can be an esophageal cancer esophageal cancer make sure you always remember this in stricture this will affect every time lower one third of esophagus will be affected to mainly affect lower one third of esophagus right cancer we have two area mainly it can be in upper one third or it can be lower one third if lower one third we call it as adenocarcinoma adenocarcinoma in upper one third we call it as squamous cell carcinoma squamous cell carcinoma mainly because of smoking or because of vodka alcohol people hookah and vodka adenocarcinoma because of gerd gastroesophageal reflux disease in both the cases patient is going to have weight loss right patient will have here also weight loss then patient will be complaining about dysphagia every time here also dysphagia now remember in esophageal structure if you take an x-ray you can see that it will be a symmetrical lesion it will be appearing structure right symmetrical you can appear right so treatment we give high dose ppi high dose ppi and do surgery remove what the structure but in esophageal cancer in x-ray so it will be malignant squamous cell carcinoma it will be unsymmetrical unsymmetrical we do an endo and biopsy where you see biopsy dysplastic cells dysplastic cells that will confirm patient have cancer treatment you go for here chemo or radiotherapy chemo or radio because it's a cancer so these are the main things we have to remember from what esophageal structure and cancer how to differentiate so webbing right scat searing zengers diverticulum structure cancer in all these cases they are mechanical first diagnosis the best diagnosis is always what right endoscopy and biopsy right so accordingly we treat if uh, someone have esophageal webbing remember that also some people have cancer i told you at that case we remove even the part of esophagus we call it as eso ah phagectomy remove the part of esophagus so accordingly it's a mechanical obstruction so uh, remove the mechanical obstruction can be tumor or it can be foreign body can be a ring can be a diverticulum can be a stricture or it can be an esophageal cancer so that's all about mechanical dysphagia of esophagus